And let's now take a closer look into the charges by the U.S. against Adani and his associates. Joining us is Arthur Dong, a distinguished teaching professor at Georgetown University's McDonough School of Business. Arthur, thanks so much for joining us. Just want to get your perspective. Can you help break down the main charges against Adani and just how serious are they, in your opinion? Well, thank you, Karina, for having me on tonight. Yes, the charges that are being leveled by the U.S. Justice Department are extremely serious. Uh, they involve securities fraud, wire fraud, as well as violations of the American Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. So uh, Mr. Adani is facing quite serious charges, and as your reporter has just articulated, uh, involving hundreds of millions of dollars in transfer and what seems to be a pay-to-play scheme, meaning that he has to pay these officials in order to play and get the access and concessions in order to build the infrastructure that he intends to build. This isn't the first time we've heard about crony capitalism in India. Why is the U.S. prosecuting a foreign billionaire for alleged crimes? Yes, exactly. The allegations surrounding Mr. Adani have been quite widespread, and now they've been formalized in this indictment. The United States Justice Department, as well as the FBI, probably have several years of evidence that they've compiled. They would not have come forward with an indictment unless they felt that the evidence was sufficient to bring criminal charges. And although Mr. Adani is an Indian native, this case reminds me a lot of the 1MDB case several years ago, in which the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Mr. Najib Razak, was also involved in a similar sort of scheme, whereby he looted uh, the Sound and Wealth Fund and Investment Fund of Malaysia to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. He was successfully convicted, and many of the people involved in that, including Malaysian citizens, are now sitting in an American jail. Yeah, 1MDB is exactly the case that came to my mind when I was reading about this as well. So how might these allegations impact Adani's business empire and global reputation? We've already seen its stock price tank, particularly its green energy company, which is the heart of the scandal. If you recall, two years ago, the Hindenburg Research Report that was published uh, describing Adani Enterprises as one big widespread fraud, well, certainly all of those allegations are now coming back to haunt Mr. Adani. And as the evidence becomes clearer and clearer, I think Mr. Adani is going to find himself in a very unpleasant situation. And if this gets to, in a sense, infect uh, Mr. Modi, the Prime Minister of India, uh, the BJP party of which he is the leader, is going to have some very unpleasant questions to answer. Well, what could these charges mean for India's economy overall? Because the Adani group is so widespread, so involved in the economy of India. Yes, and India, you know, unlike China, is very far behind when it comes to development of a critical infrastructure. So in the Indian economy is going to be set back if much of this infrastructure is, is either stalled or comes to a halt. And I dare say that the problems uh, for Adani Enterprise are only going to uh, become magnified, and his access to capital markets are going to be severely constrained. And what do you think the potential political implications of this case for India and its relationship with the U.S. is? Let's remember that Adani and Prime Minister Modi, Narendra Modi, have close links. They go back a long way. I dare say that uh, Mr. Adani is quite aware of this. He's already tried to flatter the incoming president, Mr. Trump, by offering him a personal congratulations on his victory. Mm -hmm. So he's well aware that some personal diplomacy may be uh, in need here. And I'm quite sure uh, Mr. Modi or you know, Narendra Modi will be trying to intervene to try to find a way to, in a sense, derail this investigation, because it will be an incredibly embarrassing uh, event as the revelations of this investigation unfold. And I dare say the BJP will not come out looking good. Mm. Only about 30 seconds, but want to just get your perspective. How does Adani recover from this? Does he? And does his business recover? I find it very difficult for him to recover from this because he still needs access, infrastructure construction and funding. We're not talking about millions of dollars. We're talking about billions of dollars. And no bank, a Western bank, will touch him now with a 10-foot pole. 
uh, as a result of these investigations. And so as a result of that, he's going to be in a very, very difficult situation to raise further funds. And not only that, many of the funds uh, that the company now has access to, some of those funds may be seized or may be frozen by U.S. authorities.